Good afternoon, Central Cambria. I'm Beth. And I'm Brody. And today is Wednesday, February 10th, 2016, and it is day six of our weekly schedule. Today for lunch, we are having some baked fish with some mac and cheese on the side. Also, don't forget to get a Gorilla Gram at lunch today. Today is the last day to buy them, so make sure you buy one for your sweetheart. Attention all students headed to Europe this summer with Mr. Shrelly. There will be a mandatory meeting after school on Wednesday, February 17th in room C101 at 3 p.m. All students, travelers, must attend as valuable paperwork will be distributed. The meeting should last only a little bit over an hour, so plans plan ahead accordingly. Do you want a sweet treat? This Thursday during lunch, NHS will be hosting a Save a Heart Bake Sale to benefit more positive activities at Central Cambria. All items will be heart-shaped and funds raised will go to speakers like Mike Hall. So bring in some change and help promote a positive change here at CC. Don't forget to keep voting for Connor Gibson's PSA suicide prevention video. You may go to www.payspi.org slash PSA slash 2016 PSA to place your vote. Just a reminder, make sure you keep bringing in your jeans. Who's ready to rave? That's right, there's a rave dance on this Thursday from 7 to 9. Rave means to reduce alcohol, violence, and experimentation. Make sure you come out to have a wonderful time and support this great cause. Today we are wearing green to represent money lost due to drugs, and tomorrow is red to promote caring innovations and save a heart. Don't forget to bring your couple donations to the rave. All donations will benefit the Central Cambria Specialty Delivery Program. The Cambria County Emergency Responders spent anywhere from $100 to $10,000 and taxpayer money on each case of drug overdoses last year. Cambria County Coroner Jeff Lees says that each death costs the family and community tens of thousands of dollars. Now we're to a video on money lost due to drug use. <laughs> Hello Central Cambria. Today we're wearing green to learn about the money aspect of drug abuse. We're going to talk to Mr. Sorelli and find out the real cost of drug abuse. We're going to talk about how drugs are not good news. In fact, they're bad news. Now we're going to go talk to Mr. Sorelli. I'm here with CC's economics teacher, Mr. Sorelli. We often focus on the personal effects of drug abuse, but we forget about the financial cost. Mr. Sorelli, what is the real cost of drug abuse? Excellent question, Courtney. Recent statistics and reliable ones from about 2007, 2008 show that the country economically loses $193 billion uh, due to drug usage. This includes things like $61 billion in criminal justice costs, uh, a little over $11 billion in health care costs, and $120 billion in lost productivity, meaning things like productivity in terms of how long it takes you to produce a good coming to work and the value you as an employee would generate for your business. There you have it. We're losing all this money. What does it mean for long term? That's a whole other complicated uh, answer. But uh, the shorter answer I could give you would be that we talk in class, if you take economics, about opportunity cost. And the amount of money that we are spending and losing uh, due to drug usage could be put in other areas. So instead of spending $61 billion on the criminal justice system to enforce drug laws due to a drug problem, uh, if that figure was lower, that money could be put towards infrastructure put towards education, uh, defense, social security, uh, wherever they thought that the need uh, was present. In addition, for you as a student, uh, students who use drugs are twice, or should I say, uh, only have roughly about an 11% uh, turnout of getting A's, whereas students who don't use drugs, it's about double that, uh, which means that long term, your GPA would be higher which would mean that you would have a greater chance to get into college, and thus a greater chance to earn more money, which in turn would be more productive in society because you can spend more money. Right. Right. using drugs, you can save yourself, your economy, and your grades. I agree with that. Cheers. Cheers. Hello, Central Canberra. I'm Evan with the Sports Report. Attention all Ski Club members. Ski Club will not be traveling to Seven Springs this Saturday, February 13th, due to expected frigid temperatures. Bundle up. We are making up for the Saturday trip to Seven Springs on Saturday, February 20th. If you would like to join us on this trip, please see Mr. Gresh. Congratulations to the boys basketball team for their win over Bedford last night with a score of 40 to 33. Attention all students. Mr. Gilkey is starting a girls golf team for next fall. Any boy or girl that is interested in playing golf next year, please report to the sixth grade cafeteria
right now. Today, the girls' basketball team will face Bishop Carroll home. JV starts at 6 and varsity at 7.15. Now over to weather with Max. Hi, Sage Camera. I'm Max with the weather. There's a high of 19 with a low of 17 and 100% precipitation. There's also a 100% chance of getting out early. Swag. Now for the guidance. Hello Central Camry, I'm Courtney with Guidance. The deadline to register for the April 9th ACT is March 5th. The preferred method to register for the ACT is online at www.act-students.org. Registration materials are also available in the Guidance Office. Students will not be admitted to an SAT or ACT testing site without proper identification. If you do not have a photo ID such as a driver's license, you must see Mrs. Gwizdak in the Guidance Office for a proof of ID form at least two weeks before the test date. Don't forget that ARC stands for the atmosphere of respect, courtesy, and the courage to stand up for what's right. Well, Central Cambria, there is only four days until Valentine's Day, so listen up. This year, NHS and Broadcast will be selling Gorilla Grams at lunch for only $5 to benefit Relay for Life efforts. Gorilla Grams will be delivered to the person of your choice during six period today. What's, better, what's a better way to show your love for someone than have a huge gorilla run into a classroom with a sweet treat for your sweet? Well, maybe seeing the reaction. Don't worry, we got that covered too. All deliveries will be filmed for your CCTV viewing pleasure. Love is sweet, buy your Valentine a treat. Share your love with those you adore and help find a cure. Purchase your Gorillagram today at lunch. There are no birthdays today. Signing off from CCTV, have a great day, Central Camaria. Have a crush? But you don't know how to tell them? Send them a Gorilla Gram. On February 8th, 9th, and 10th, we will be selling Gorilla Grams at lunch. For $5, you can send a written message, candy sweethearts, and a chocolate bar of your choice to your crush. The gorilla will serenade your crush during their class. This is a great way to celebrate Valentine's Day, and not to mention a way to interrupt class or embarrass your friends. Sammy and Tilton broke up the boss tweet corruption ring in New York. Is that true or false, Ashley? True. That is true, he broke up the boss to corruption. All proceeds go to help Relay for Life. So celebrate Valentine's Day while supporting a great cause.